Hi friends, this video is for the book Squirrel Acrobats, okay? So what you need to do to um, complete this assignment is you need to have your um, your pen or your pencil. I'm going to start using a Sharpie so it's easier for you guys to see um, on these papers that we fill out when I do them with you. Um, uh, so you need your pen or pencil and your highlighter and then your book and your packet, okay? Um, this week, once again, we are working on finding the main idea and supporting details in our book. So if you look at the front of this page right here, you will notice that it has like our main idea and four supporting details, okay? So what we're going to do first is we are going to look through this book like we always do, and we're gonna make some predictions, okay? So this first, front cover. Um, this one only has a front cover, so you have, all you have to do is look here. Is We're going to try and make a prediction about what the book is about by looking at this picture and looking at the title. So as I look at it, I see that it is titled Squirrel Acrobats. And if you look at this picture, it's really cool. Um, it looks like a squirrel is like flipping upside down from a tree branch to try and grab something, and he's holding on with his feet and his tail. That's kind of kooky, isn't it? So I'm assuming, um, and what I have known before about the word acrobat, um, acrobats are people who can like do weird and crazy things. Um, normally you'll see like an acrobat at a circus when they're like hanging from the trapeze and like doing flips and doing those random things. Um, acrobats are really flexible and they're really talented with um, specific things that they do. So I'm betting we're going to talk about the weird talents of a squirrel in this book, okay? Um, what I want you guys to do again, remember, um, is to always follow along with your fingers under each word as we read. Um, I'm going to, you might not be able to see the book as I'm reading, but I'm going to try and read nice and loud because I heard a couple of the other videos were kind of quiet. Um, just follow along with me and then we'll go over our main idea and detail and the rest of our packets once I'm done, okay? So. First thing you need to do is turn to page three. All right. It says, gray squirrels are some of nature's acrobats. They move quickly and easily to find food or escape from other animals. They dart or dash across the ground. They can stop quickly with their tails up. They are alert for danger. They whip their tails from side to side to see other animals. That's kind of cool. Or side to side if they see other animals. They move fast on the ground and run and leap quickly so that cats or foxes do not catch them. They cling to tree trunks with their claws. They can climb and change direction quickly. They can change direction to escape from birds or other squirrels. They can leap easily from large branches to small ones. And this is a really cool picture because it shows the squirrels jumping, huh? Um, they land easily on small branches by using their tails. They use their tails to keep their balance and not fall off. Small branches or wires are the tight or are like tightrope that they easily run across. They can hang from the bottoms of branches and they can even climb upside down. Look at that squirrel. He's chewing on a nut while hanging upside down from a tree. Isn't that awesome? Squirrel acrobats can quickly and easily climb, leap, and run. And if you look at this picture, it has a couple really funny pictures of squirrels. I like the one right here where the squirrel's on my pen, it's kind of staring at you. Yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come to our packet and we're going to look at what the main idea is. So um, what I think would be a good main idea is actually the first sentence in the book. It says, gray squirrels are some of nature's acrobats. So I, you can copy that exact sentence, or you can um, write a shorter sentence too. So I'm going to say, squirrels are some of nature's acrobats. 
squirrel. Are some of nature's acrobats. Do you see that? Oh, that looks a lot better. Squirrels are some of nature's acrobats. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to find four details that support that sentence in this book. So I'm going to look through my book and I'm going to find one detail and you can write down this detail that I'm finding also, okay? So I'm looking, looking, looking. And I think that I want to write about the squirrel hanging upside down because I thought that picture was really funny. So it'll be on page 11. Um, I'm going to say, squirrels can hang from the bottoms of branches and climb upside down. Squirrel. Actually, that could be two facts if you want to separate them. So I'm going to write them both in different boxes. Can hang upside down. They can climb upside down. Oops. All right, so you see that my two boxes are filled in. So your job is to finish these two boxes on your own, okay? Um, keep looking through our book to find your answers. Um, and when you're done, mom and dad or whoever is helping you can take a picture of the scrub page and turn it in that way, okay? All right, so let's flip to the second page where we're going to be working on our sound. So it says, name the picture um, with students and have them listen to the initial sound of, in each word. Then have them write the letters BR under the pictures who begin with the BR blend. Um, and the letters GR under the pictures whose name begin with the GR blend. So you actually should um, possibly work with someone who is older for this page. Um, you don't have to, but you may not know what some of this or some of these pictures are just in case, okay? So what you need to do is you need to look at this page and I'll read through the top three. Um, and then you need to do the bottom three on your own, okay? So I'm looking here. This first picture has grapes. So would that have the BR blend or the GR blend? I think it has the GR blend because GR is in grapes. So write GR. Okay. Your next one is brush. Is that the BR blend or the GR blend? I'm thinking BR because brush starts with a brr. So B, R, okay. This last one, it's a bug and it's actually a grasshopper. So grasshopper starts with the grr sound. So that has the G R blend. And you'll see, I have all three sounds written down on this first page, okay? Um, your job is to do the same thing, look at the pictures, have someone maybe say what the pictures are out loud, um, and then you write the sound of the blend underneath it, okay? And now we're going to go to the next page, too. This page is a page with some of our vocabulary words. So, um, you have the vocabulary word cling, smooth, hang, land, whip, leap, dart, climb, and dash. So all of these vocabulary words will be found in our book and they could be found in sentences in our book too. So um, for example, you need to put the vocabulary words in these blanks on your page. So for number one, it says gray squirrels blank quickly to find food. What we can do is we can look back in our book and see if we can actually find the answer. Um, 
in the book somewhere. So I'm going to look at page three. And it says, gray squirrels are some na of nature's acrobats. They move quickly and easily to find food. So let's look. Is move one of our vocabulary words? I'm going to look through. And yeah, move is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write move down in that first blank. Okay. And you can see that it's right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the blanks that we have and then the amount of vocabulary words that we have to see if I can cross move out. Because if they have the exact same amount of blanks as there are words, then you don't need to use the word twice. So I'm going to look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can cross out move. And number two, they blank and blank across the ground. So let's look and see if we can find anything um, that would work. They blank and blank. Oh, I think I found it. If you look on page four, it says they dart at or dash across the ground. I think that makes sense there too. Let's see if we can find dart or dash. Oh, I see them in our vocabulary words, so I'm going to write that down. Dart and dash. Okay. So, I helped you with these first two, set, or two questions. I want you to solve three through seven on your own, okay? Um, you can cross out your vocabulary words as you use them. And remember, you only use them once. You don't have to figure out if dart or dash can go in any of the other sentences because we just put them in our second one. Um, so you need to do three through seven on your own. Um, and once you're done with this packet, you can put it back in its sleeve where it goes in the binder and you can keep them in there and we can maybe turn in our binders when we get back, okay? Um, you can keep this book too and do whatever you want with it. I would practice reading it more and more because this is actually kind of a funny book and it does teach you some really cool things about squirrels, okay? Have a good night. Bye.